Kevin, the new showroom is amazing. Great job. Oh, thanks, Amy. Nice Good to see, see you. you again. Yeah, thanks for coming well, in. Everything's new, but tell us a little bit about it. You know, 10 years, design changes, right? Right. So we wanted a more open, airy feel for our clients to walk into, and we just thought it'd be nice to have an experience with all the new products that are coming out. Well, and that's what I like, because all of these little vignettes kind of give people the example of what they could do in their own home. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> so we've tried to, we're not a big retail, like we don't have a lot of retail products, like, right. a, like a big box store. Our, our thoughts are we work with homeowners on their new construction right now work on a more personal level and try and decide yes. what works for them and a lot of it does come down to their space as well mm -hmm. but this is a great example of what they can put in there yeah totally so mm -hmm. we have a little sampling of some products on the wall to give them examples but then little vignettes like over behind you here I love the cabinet lighting over here that's so cool oh thanks yeah we're doing a lot of LED lighting control now with different mm -hmm. colors um, you can even tie the lighting into the weather so that depending on the weather the lights would change yeah so if it's really blue outside and I just need a little pick me up I can have a hot pink cabinet yeah exactly <laughs> or yeah. anything really yeah, as long With as it matches strip right? lights it's so easy to put them into anything now because they're so small very easy yes mm -hmm. yeah. what else is new and exciting well you know we hide technology you know our business is hiding technology right. so you know here's a, a Samsung frame TV we've got up oh, here I you, love those I've never actually seen one before yeah no I, you'd have no idea it's a TV but it looks like art you can put hundreds of pieces of art on there and change it all the time that's right yeah, yeah. Look, Tell me a little bit about these vignettes here because they're sure. set up to be user friendly and to show your customers what's available. Yeah, exactly. So uh, most of our business breaks down into three categories, either entertainment mm -hmm. or security or lighting and shade control. Right. So this vignette right here, uh, we would come over to our clients, show them examples of different types of alarm systems that they put into a newer renovation, mm -hmm. different camera systems that they can have and different control abilities so that they can check out their cameras on their touch screen whether they're in the house or they're outside of the house. Right, and I think that's really anywhere. important now is a lot of people want to be able to monitor the home when they're not home. Correct, mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. And we pick all these products tried and tested, you know, right. like we don't we don't go for the latest products. We're, we're after um, reliability here. Yes, so, and there's a lot of different price points too, isn't there? There is a huge variety, yes. Mm -hmm. And then what are we seeing over here? So over on this is where we talk to our clients about different media possibilities they have for their house. Housing, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, music systems to control ceiling speakers throughout the house. So you can have hidden surround sound. Yeah, hidden surround sound. We've got speakers behind the walls. Is behind someone the drywall. talking to you? I feel like something <laughs> is talking to me right now. Yeah, that's our back door. I think, oh, our, okay. I think our courier just showed up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, this is just it. this just shows people how to use music, Spotify, that type of thing. I mean, right. they know how to use it, but this to is the easy way to integrate in. it into the house. So that's a lot about the home automation. Mm -hmm. What are we seeing in the next thing yet? So down here we move into lighting control. So uh, tying uh, smart light switches into a house so that you can do uh, lighting scenes. For example, you walk into a great room and you might mm -hmm. have like 15 different lights, but right. it's nice to just hit one button that says all lights on and it sets that room in the perfect lighting mode so that you feel relaxed. And for different, relaxed. whether you're entertaining or you're just home alone or those sorts of things. That's right? right, yeah. So we have a lot of lighting control here and also shade control of course is huge. Oh, um, you mean like window coverings? Yeah, window so. coverings, environmental mm -hmm. control. So we tie a lot of the shades into the home automation systems. A, it reduces wall clutter because you're tying them into your touch screens, mobile phones already. Right, so you don't have that little battery control thing on the yeah, wall. Correct, and... that you lose. Right, that's <laughs> yes. me, yeah. Correct, yeah. And behind me here, I can't stop looking at all the greenery. How does oh. this fit in? Well, you know, we try to give a little vignette of, of housing uh, or what you can do in a house. So, right. of course, we have to have our mock garden <laughs> and uh, we have garden speakers out here that would normally be hidden behind. Speakers? Yeah, yeah, hidden behind foliage so that I you're like not going to see them. style. <laughs> Instead of on the wall, you know, the big black ugly boxes. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. so uh, ugly. <laughs> yeah, and this is a subwoofer that actually gets buried in the ground. What? Shakes the earth. Um, wow. Yep. Your neighbors gets a, have to be okay party with going. this party, I guess. I think they do. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And of course, we do irrigation control where you can tie your sprinklers oh. into your smart home systems and get the whole house tied in. So if we come back here, this is where we do a lot of our back work for... This is where the magic right? happens. It's like Santa's workshop. Yeah, right. This is uh, Nerd Central back here <laughs> with all these wires and racks and equipment. So, you know, we're one of the only places in town that 
will build a rack here on site for clients that are doing a, oh. a large home automation product. That's a great idea. It probably cuts down on a lot of travel time and all that for you guys too. Absolutely. Make sure it works here. Yeah, we program it. We test it, we bench it, we make sure every component's perfect before it hits the job site. Mm -hmm. So these guys are building racks over here, as you can see. And then over on this side, we have programmers doing their, their little magic as wow. well. Wow, this is a theater like no other. You've seen a lot of rooms that we've done over the years. Yes. And we decided that this time we would probably do something a little bit different. And you know, what's, what's the number one marketed thing in the world, Star Wars. So That's we thought we'd do a Star Wars room. Wow. Yes, you've got all the fans just going crazy right now yeah, in this room. Right. Well, we, you know, we want them to um, feel that we can do something different than just out of the box. Right. You know, our own crews can build these rooms and, you know, it doesn't have to be a theme room, obviously. No. But sometimes you want more than four walls and uh, a screen hanging on the, on That's the front. That's true. So. Yeah. The new showroom is really all about the experience. Yeah, it really is. I mean, we've really tried to make it comfortable and casual so our clients will come in with their plans, sit down at a nice big table, no boardroom tables, just enjoy a coffee and a water and talk about what they want to do in their new house. And really then it's just whatever they can come up with. That's right. Mm -hmm.